Hey everybody, Dr. Nussi here again, and uh, today we're coming to you with a video of a pretty hot news story that's out right now. And this is something that's been brought to my attention several times by patients in my office, so I wanted to get kind of ahead of it by doing this video. So uh, the issue is, or, or the uh, news articles that have come out, basically they're stating that ketogenic type of diets may cause atrial fibrillation, AFib. So I've got the uh, article right here. It's in Science Daily. Uh, let's take a look at it. So title of the article is Low Carb Diet Tied to Most Common Heart Rhythm Disorder. A little excerpt uh, from the beginning. Low carb diets are all the rage, but can cutting carbohydrates spell trouble for your heart? People getting a low proportion of their daily calories from carbohydrates are significantly more likely to develop AFib. So that sounds pretty scary, right? Um, we better all just start you know, raising our carbohydrate intake, quit doing these ketogenic type of diets. Let's actually dive a little bit more into what the um, researchers found and, and how they did their research and, and see if this is actually true. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to define the difference between, or we need to set a difference between correlation and causation. And in scientific studies, there's a very distinct line between those two, but oftentimes, especially in the media, this line gets blurred. Causation means exactly that. If you do A, you get B as a result. Correlation means exactly that. It means that these two outcomes are correlated with each other, but they may be due to a third factor causing both, okay? So let's keep that in mind kind of as we go forward. So right from the beginning, the uh, researcher that uh, put this study out says that this study cannot prove causation. And it's because that this is not a randomized control trial. Basically what they did was they just gathered a bunch of information based on a questionnaire. They, they sent out a questionnaire. Um, how much of this do you eat? How much of that do you eat? And then they just gathered all this data and then they separated people into a few different categories and called one low carb and one medium carb, I guess, and one high carb. And then looked at their atrial fibrillation rate based on that. So I'm not gonna go over the pathophysiology of, of AFib um, and, and the different types and what puts you at risk for it and all these different types of things, but um, basically what they admit in the study is that uh, AF AFib can be caused by a number of different uh, issues that a, a patient has from the beginning. So they didn't rule out any of those other factors causing AFib. All they did was look at how these people filled out these questionnaires and then separated them into three different categories. All right, so that's issue number one is that there is no way to prove causation from this study. Uh, uh, the the person that did the study, the scientist that did the study, admits that a randomized control trial needs to be done to be able to prove that. Okay, that's point one. Point number two, and maybe even more important than that, is that the three categories that they separated them into is, or are, um, people that eat less than 44.8% of their daily calories being carbohydrates, then 448 to 52.4% of their daily calories being from carbohydrates and then every, anything over 52.4%, that would be the high category. So the low category uh, from this study is anything up to 44.8% of your uh, caloric intake for the day comes from carbohydrates. That's not a ketogenic type of diet. That's, that's not a diet that we would ever prescribe for somebody that's trying to aggressively lose weight and do it through burning body fat. That's a very high carbohydrate. Uh, even their low carbohydrate um, category is very high carbohydrate. Ketogenic type of diets typically are like in the 10%, five to 10% of your calories you're getting through carbohydrates while you're doing those type of diets. In our office, we um, promote eating a lot of f uh, fresh fruit and getting carbohydrates through fruit and vegetables. So maybe, you know, we're sometimes up into the 15%, but still that's way lower, way less than half um, of uh, what their category was. You know, what happens is these news stories are, these uh, news outlets are business. They want businesses, they want people to read their news stories. Keto is hot right now. Uh, it's, it's a big rage in, um, uh, in the diet and the health uh, industry. So they latch onto that and they um, say that, well, this is lower carbohydrate, keto diets are low carbohydrate, so let's link the two together. But there's this, this research basically has nothing to do with the ketogenic diet, so we can scrap it. Um, 
you know, if more evidence or more research comes out, I'm, I'm happy to look at that and, uh, you know, f for what it is. And uh, if it does relate to the ketogenic diets, we'll bring that to you as well. You know, we'll be very upfront and honest about um, the ketogenic type of diets, low carbohydrate diets, because we do utilize a lot of that uh, in our office. So um, just, uh, you know, a short video just to kind of get ahead of this issue that's kind of swirling around right now. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe uh, to this channel and hit the little bell icon. We put a video out at least now once a week, uh, sometimes even more. Um, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will catch you in the next video.